May 5th to June 20th, 2024, I brought in 15 tree frog eggs to watch them grow and change from tadpoles to froglets. Many eggs were laid in my pond throughout the spring by many different tree frogs. On May 5th, I brought in a bunch of eggs, and within five days, many of them had turned into little tadpoles. had grown quite a bit larger by eating algae off the bottom and sides of the container. I was surprised at how much they had grown in just a little over a week. about half of the tadpoles that I had brought in originally and made a much nicer habitat for the nine or so that I kept. I fed them tiny pieces of chopped cucumber and cooked shredded spinach, but they also continued to eat algae from the sides of the container and off of the rocks. I released a few more tadpoles so the container wouldn't get too crowded, so I ended up with seven. On June 10th, I noticed that about half the tadpoles suddenly had little tiny back legs. This was not a gradual thing. Their legs seemed to have just popped out from the previous day. As their back legs began to grow larger, I knew that they were gradually changing from herbivores to carnivores. So I decided to give them bloodworms to add protein to their diet. I bought the bloodworms in frozen little cubes from the local pet food store. And whenever the tadpoles would encounter them, they would slurp them up like spaghetti. It was quite entertaining to watch.
I had been feeding them bloodworms, they were still eating the spinach, cucumber, and algae off the rocks. By June 16th, I noticed that half the tadpoles were now developing their front legs, which meant they were changing from aquatic to terrestrial, gradually losing their gills and developing lungs. I made another habitat for them that contained a large rock so that they could climb out of the water if they needed to. I really didn't know what to expect. Within just a couple of days of my adding them to this new container, they quickly became little froglets. Their front legs were growing. They were turning green. They hid under the rock instead of swimming around. And they stopped eating the bloodworms as they were absorbing their tails as food. I found it amazing how their tails were just disappearing before my very eyes. Everything was going along fine until the morning of June 20th when I noticed that the large container was empty. I realized too late that because tree frogs climb, they had climbed out of the container and had gotten stuck in the door tracks of our porch during the night. Three out of the four had died. One had survived, though he had an injured back leg. I immediately released him onto the rocks of my pond. I hope he made it. The other three froglets were far enough along in their development that I decided to release them too. Though their tails had not been completely absorbed, they were still hopping along quite well. It had taken seven weeks for these tree frogs to develop from an egg to a froglet. Even though three of them died as a result of my inexperience, I hope that the ones that I did release into my pond make it. frogs are kind of sticky and they're able to climb really well. This guy decided to climb the glass doors of our porch, which I thought was really funny. And they are also incredibly loud.
For something so small, they sure do get around.